Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the uh, humble little LED, but um, what I'm going to be talking about it in more detail is how to find the correct resistor value for the LED. So you know you need a current limiting resistor for an LED, but what current li limiting resistor, what value resistor do you need at which voltage? So if you want to run your LED off 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 100 volts, you know, whatever, you know, this, this will help you find the current limiting resistor. So first, what you need to do is you need to go to the data sheet of the LED, okay, and find the what's called the forward voltage drop, okay, and if you don't know the forward voltage drop, then uh, usually 2.5 to 3 volts is a safe bet for something like this. Um, you know, the, the a color LED is going to be on the lower side, and a white LED is going to be on the higher side. And let's say we want to run this LED at a forward voltage drop of... Um, 2.75 volts, right, right, we want it to be a bit brighter, so I'm going to set my power supply to 2.75 volts. Okay, the power supply is set to 2.7 volts, so we're going to plug this in and measure the current. So, our current now is 40 milliamps. As you can see here, the LED is a bit brighter. So we're going to go with uh, four, uh, four, 40 milliamps as our forward current. So we're going to go 40 milliamps. Plug that in. Voltage, or sorry, we want to find our resistance equals to voltage over current, which is our Ohm's law, so resistance. In this case, uh, if we're going to run this off of 5 volt supply, we're going to go 5 volts minus 2.75, oops, 75 volts which is going to give us 2.25 volts that the resistor needs to drop, okay? Because remember, this is the voltage that we're going to plug in here is the voltage that the resistor drops, not the voltage that the LED drops. So if you're going to go 2.75 plus 2.25, that's going to give you 5 volts, which is um, the total supply. So then our current is again going to be the same. So we're just going to plug 40 milliamps in for the current. So we're going to get resistance equals to 2.25 over 0 0.040. Get out my nice, nice big calculator again. And voila. See if we can get this all in frame at once. 2.25 divided by 0 0.040. That's going to give us a resistance of 56.25 ohms. And it just happens to be that there is a 56 in the E12 range. So 56 ohms is going to be um, green, blue, black, because black is times 1, and green, blue is 5, 6. So if we now set our supply to be at 5 volts, <clears throat> Again, this is not going to be the exact current, just due to the fact that I can't adjust my power supply exactly. Okay, so I have my power supply adjusted to 5.09 volts, add the resistor in series, we're going to go high side again, we're going to go current in milliamps, and plug it in, and see our results. And we're going 42 milliamps. I'm not sure if you can see that LED there. But if we plug it in, same brightness as before. If I move my shadow away, and let's move it over, and 42.9 milliamps. And not sure if you can see that, but that is 5 volts. So it won't focus. So. That's how you drive an LED on a higher voltage and calculate the resistor for the exact current you want.